Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Eat Sleep Brief. This week's episode where we're going to be covering is flow. So recently I was able to get my hands on a brand new MaxPec Gyre 300 series. And let me tell you guys, for you guys that have had the not so great experiences with the first generation and the second, believe me, this third one completely blows those out of the water. Um, they made a lot of changes to it, so we're going to be covering those here in this video. Uh, so sit back and enjoy. So Maxpect has really done their homework, I believe, here with the 300 series. Um, the one I have in front of me is the 330. Uh, this does have sign technology, which is very quiet. It's also able to be controlled uh, through the Synergy app. The only bad thing about this is you do need the CV6 controller, uh, which is not included. It kind of sucks. You know, you have to buy another controller for it to be wireless, but uh, no big deal. Here are the dimensions on the 330 um, and the 350. A great feature about them is you can use two pumps, one controller, one power supply. So, you know, for you guys running duals, it's great. You need less, you know, power bricks in your setup, your cabinet. Um, makes all in all for a lot cleaner setup. So this here is a controller that is included. Um, you can see here the CV6, you're able to control it through the Synergy app. The only downside is you got to purchase the controller separately. I think it's about 50 bucks um, if you do want to go ahead and go wireless. So kind of sucks. I was hoping they uh, would include it in the box, but I open it up and I'm looking at the box and it says sold separately. So that's, you know, maybe something I'll end up doing. A lot of guys are telling me to do it uh, just because you get a lot more controllability. So here, out of the box, you're going to notice you get a manual, a very detailed, just with uh, the first and second generation. Um, Max Spectre is always very good on including uh, instructions. Uh, everything is very well packaged. I actually really like the packaging versus the V1 and the V2. Uh, you got your power cord here for uh, your power brick. This here is going to be the whole cable for your uh, pump. Uh, you're going to know some extra accessories like mesh, um, also the flow uh, the flow directors. I noticed they didn't give you spare uh, reverse uh, uh, propellers, which is interesting. Um, but you get the whole brand new controller here. Um, I actually really like the look of it. Once you power it on, it does look uh, quite a bit different uh, than the previous generation. Now here you get your power brick um, to obviously power the controller and the pump itself. And lastly, you're greeted here with a pump. Now, the pump guys, they completely redesigned it. Uh, the whole magnet, the way the magnet mounts, more importantly, the way it disassembles. It's so easy to take apart. I can't wait to do a future video, uh, but it's super, super simple. Literally, you can take this thing apart in just a few seconds. So here, I have installed the flow, uh, uh, flow directors. Now, guys, when you guys see how much this improves, um, you're able to literally run this pump less than a quarter inch from the water line. I'm not kidding. Uh, I was quickly blown away. Um, you know, I think these flow uh, directors really, really help not only for you to see where the water's going to be going, but it allows you to run it very close to the water line. So, as far as flow is concerned, gyres have always known to move a lot of flow. Check this out beautiful surface agitation. On the very top again this also allows for perfect co2 um, exchange in your tank oxygenates the water and increases the ph as well uh, so for you guys you know having ph issues this is kind of one of those ways so here starting out i'm running it in pulse mode i think it's cycling from 10 to 40 percent uh, with 0.4 uh, second intervals that's getting me a pretty good wave here although 40 percent guys in this specific tank uh, is quite a bit overpowered. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I noticed I had to tear it down. But you can see we got a good wave uh, going in the tank. Great surface uh, agitation is going to uh, help with gas exchange. In other words, increasing uh, the pH in the tank, which at the end, I don't think anyone's going to be complaining about that. But all in all, you see the corals are loving it. You know, it's not uh, too crazy flow. I noticed with the flow uh, directors, it's a lot more... Uh, even flow if you will it's kind of something you got to see for yourself but check this out guys it's literally less than a quarter inch away from the water line 
it's ridiculous. I mean, there's no pump I can see for a fact that you can run this close at such a high power setting uh, without it, you know, sucking in air. I actually even tested out running at 100% and still wasn't even uh, bringing in air. A nice design is here with the magnet, very sleek. Um, I really like the way they redid the magnet both inside and outside on the pump. And guys, I just can't get enough of how close you can run this uh, to the water line. I really think Max Spec nailed it. So if you are considering this pump in your reef tank, believe me guys, if you've had previous experience with a Gen 1 and Gen 2, set that aside. They completely redesigned it, make, made it way easier to clean. I'm going to have a video showing you guys how to clean it. Another thing that's kind of very hard to show in video is how dead silent this thing is. It's even at 100%, guys, I couldn't hear it. Um, I could hear my skimmer, I could hear my return pump, but I could not hear this pump whatsoever. I know a lot of people were complaining about noise from the first gen and second. This one, guys, they totally hit it out of the ballpark. We're going to wrap this video up here. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, if you I, if you guys are considering a different style of flow in your reef tank, be sure to check out the Max Spec Gyre 300 series, either 330 or 350. You're going to love it. Believe me. Again, any questions, comments, or concerns, guys, please leave them down in the comment box below. As always, thanks for watching. Happy reefing.